It's been a long time. But now, friends, the time has come. It's time to come back to the sanctuary. So in this video, we're going to talk a bit about what that's going to be like, what you can expect, what you need to know all about returning to the sanctuary. Safety, hospitality, equity, simplicity, and love. Those five words govern our response to Christ's call for worship in the midst of this continuing pandemic. And everything I'm about to share with you finds its roots in those five words. So let's get to it. Well, well let's jump in and see what it's going to be like. If you are feeling sick or if you have been around people who feel sick, please make sure to stay home and join in online if you're feeling up to it. If you have been asked by a doctor to stay away from people or to quarantine, or if you are awaiting test results, please make sure to stay home and join us online. If you are planning on coming into the sanctuary, please make sure to register beforehand. Everyone needs to register, and you can do that either through a link on our homepage or through the weekly email. Finally, plan to arrive just a little bit early. We're going to try to get everyone seated by about five minutes until 10, but we'll get to more of that in a minute. So now that you're here, you registered in advance, and you've driven here, you need a mask. No, not quite like that. That's a bit more than we need here. That's better. None of this, and none of these, and certainly none of these. And if you don't have a mask when you arrive, the ushers will make sure to provide one for you, and it's very important that you wear it. That is one of the main ways we are able to be together. The doors of the sanctuary will be open at 940 to allow the tech team time to prepare. So when you arrive, please make sure to wait for an usher to help you to your seat. On your way in, we also encourage you to place any offering you may have in the baskets by the doors. We won't be passing a plate during these times. We will be having the windows open if the weather permits in order to encourage circulation. Please bring a jacket if you feel the need, and please ignore all the street noise. Please refrain from singing. As studies have shown, aerosolized particles and um, spit globules, a technical term, are projected much further if you're singing, even if you're wearing a mask. So to keep everyone safe, the only person will be singing is the soloist. I know it's kind of a bummer right now that we can't sing, but we absolutely strongly encourage you to share the spoken responses and the corporate prayers. The words will be projected on the screen in the sanctuary because we won't be passing out worship guides or bulletins. You might see some people on their phones offering a word of peace to others who may be at home. This is a great way to include others, but please make sure to silence your phone. If it's a communion Sunday, communion elements will be placed in the pew rack at each seat. Don't worry, the restrooms in Heritage Hall will remain open and we hope that you will use them. At the end of worship, ushers will invite you to leave. Please make sure to maintain social distance from others and try not to wander around the sanctuary too much. I, myself, will be in the, either the breezeway or the parking lot, hoping to be able to chat with you for just a few minutes after worship. I'll make sure to have my mask on and I'm sure you will as well. What a treat this is going to be. I really hope the weather is good. And that's it. Those are the basics that you need to know. Now let's get back to worship and enjoy being physically with one another as we praise God. And if you're not comfortable coming into the sanctuary yet for worship, that's totally okay. We're going to continue to stream online just as we have for a little over a year at this point. So we really hope you will join us 
right there on the web. And as always, if you have any questions at all, please contact a session member or come ask me and we'll do our best to provide an answer. If we don't know, we will find someone who does.